Okay, in this video we're looking at what is pH and why is it important with enzymes? So pH is a measure of the acidity or basicity of a substance or a solution. Now, basicity, another word for that one is alkaline. So you may read this in your textbooks and all it means is basic. Most of the food that we actually eat is acidic. Now this here is a pH scale. It ranges from zero, which is very, very acidic, to 14, which is more alkaline. Seven is neutral. So the pH of seven is neutral and generally that's the pH of water. So our stomach produces very strong acids. That acid actually helps start to digest our foods. This acid helps us to digest, but also it kills harmful microorganisms that we eat from our food. Our blood has a pH of 7.4, that's, so that's quite neutral and very similar to water. One of the few foods that we eat that is basic is baked beans and we all know the results of that. You may produce a little bit more gas and that's because of the effect that a basic food has on our digestive system. It doesn't mean that it's bad for us, it's still healthy to eat. Acids, now what are acids? They are substances that have hydrogen ions and they have a pH of lower than seven. So on this scale here, pH seven is neutral. So six and all the way down to zero, zero is the most acidic and six is only slightly acidic. On this scale here, urine is actually slightly acidic at six. The more hydrogen ions, the stronger the acid, and acids taste sour. Now in the laboratory, if you do get an acid on your skin, it's very important to wash it off, especially if it's a strong acid. Acids can burn your skin and you will actually feel it burning into you. The best way to get rid of an acid is to wash it or dilute it with water. Examples of acids. We've got vinegar and we do, we put vinegar on our salad so it's still healthy to eat and fine for us to eat. Citrus fruits and Coca-Cola. Bases. Now bases are substances that have hydroxide ions or OH, O being oxygen, H being hydrogen and have a pH of greater than seven. So again, seven is neutral, but eight to 14, this one here, 14 is very, very basic. So extremely strong. The more hydroxide ions, the stronger the base. Now bases taste bitter and they feel slippery. So say for example, if you get a base or an alkaline solution on your skin, it's very important to wash it off, even if you're wondering if you do. The reason why is because you won't feel it on your skin. Acids, you can feel on your skin, you feel it burn, but bases turn your skin into soap. So it's very important to wash the base off with water. Examples of bases. Now bleach, as you can see here, bleach has a pH of 13. So it's very basic. Ammonia is another one. You need to be careful with this one. It is a household product, but if you put your nose over it, it can actually burn all the nose hairs in your nose and even burn down your throat. Most cleaning products are basic, so it includes soaps that you wash your hands with, but they won't be as strong as the cleaning products. The acidity or alkalinity of the environment is also important for enzymes and their functioning. This is measured from zero to 14, as I've just said. So again, a recap, substances that are seven are neutral. A pH reading of zero to six means a substance is acidic and a pH reading of eight to 14 means a substance is alkaline. Enzymes work best with a narrow pH range. Any variation above or below a specific level reduces their rate of activity. As you can see here, the pH for pepsin, pepsin works best at around the level of two. So it's a very acidic pH. Whereas an optimum pH for trypsin, trypsin works at around about six to seven. Levels of alkalinity or acidity outside the optimum pH for an enzyme have a similar effect to that of temperature change. They alter the enzyme's shape and therefore they alter the functioning of the enzyme. They will denature. Within cells, most enzymes function at or near neutral pH, but enzymes in the digestive tract function in an acidic or alkaline environment. So 
This enzyme here may represent trypsin, uh, pepsin, sorry. This is because its pH is around about two. Now this pink enzyme here may represent amylase. Amylase can work at around about 6.5 to seven. So the protein digestive enzyme renin, which is found in gastric juice in the stomach function best at a strong acid. Now renin, you will probably use this in biology. Renin's role in digestion is to curdle or coagulate milk. So what it's actually doing is in the stomach, it's turning a milk, a liquid into a solid. The purpose of this is so that you're able to absorb all the nutrients in that solid. If it were to stay as a liquid, the liquid would pass through the body and you wouldn't be able to absorb the proteins and nutrients from the milk. A commercial form of renin is called rennet. Now that is using manufacturing cheese. So cheese is actually curdled milk. So when you actually get milk as a liquid, you can add rennet, an enzyme, and it curdles milk to form a solid. And we can make cheese in the process. Pepsin is a very powerful enzyme and it digests proteins in the stomach. Now, it, the proteins that it digests are meat, eggs, seeds, or dairy products, and it breaks them down into peptides. These peptides are absorbed from the intestine to the bloodstream or are broken down further by pancreatic enzymes such as trypsin. Pepsin is released in the stomach in its inactive form, so pepsin is inactive. With hydrochloric acid, which is released by the stomach, it's turned into pepsinogen. Pepsinogen is able, is the active form, and it's able to break down the proteins into the peptides. So its optimal pH is around pH two. Why do you think this is? Have a think, press pause. The reason why its pH is around two is because the stomach's pH is around about 1.5 to three. It changes and fluctuates. So the enzyme salivary amylase, which is in your saliva, it breaks down starch and its function is to best work in a weak acid condition. So its pH is around 6.7, so that's the weak acid, but it can also range up to pH 7, which is sort of neutral. The action of amylase on starch stops when the food passes into the stomach. This is because the low pH of the gastric juice actually makes it inactive. So the amylase cannot work or perform its function with a pH of 1.5 to 3 as the stomach is. Extremes of pH like temperature cause the enzymes to denature. For example, in a mammalian stomach, the conditions are very acidic with the pH between 1.5 and 2. The enzymes involved in chemical digestion in the stomach work best in acidic conditions found there. These enzymes stop working when the food again moves through to the next stage, which is the small intestine. That again changes the pH and the acidic, the acidic conditions become more alkaline of 7.5 to 8.8 pH. Okay, this concludes our pH and enzyme activity. Thank you.